this is the previous section in, in your mathematics paper two, second after uh, Euclidean geometry. So, by the way, this one, I'm going to talk about the math. In this case, which is so bad, I'm problem. It's not a good trigonometry. As come on, look at If you've got a Cartesian plane, this is one zero, one ninety, one eighty, one two seventy, and back to three sixty. So the angles that are dealing with with Cartesian plane, apart from zero, no three sixty. Furthermore, if it's in an angle in general, for example, if it's in a 30 degrees here, it is sitting in this arm. This arm is saying 30 degrees. But there are so many other angles as as the arm is going to give us this same position. In other words, in this angle, if I add with 360 degrees, I will end up on the same arm, on the same position. So it is saying that with 30 degrees, we are fine, we position a fine, I don't know, 390 degrees. In this 390 degrees, if I add another angle, it will take me to the very same position as well. So there are so many angles that are sitting in this arm, that are sitting in this position. That is what we call a general solution. Generally, there are so many other angles are still in a position. But specifically, this angle is 30 degrees. A specific solution will be 30 degrees. But a general solution will be 30 degrees plus abanyo 360 So in other words, see, we add 360 we angle we shift your position here. At the same time, when we subtract 360, I will end up on the same position. So add 360, no susa 360, and we angle it here. I will shift the position here or end. Right. Let's look at what we have. When I look at this problem, I should know exactly what I'm looking for. The, mo the most important key is I check what wrong my angles are apart to 0 and 360. Number two, you check out the one gamma angles are positive. Those are the two things that I'm looking for. That all the angles are between 0 and 360, foot one are positive. Right, let's check. Is this between 0 and 360? No. Therefore, I underline it. Is this between 0 and 360? Yes. Is this between 0 and 360? Yes. But the question here is to get Prove that this side is equal to this side without using a calculator. Without using a calculator. So I cannot find the cos 14 without a calculator. I underline it. So what is this saying to me? Since I cannot find cos 14 apart from a calculator, definitely show Gezant, who may be called cos 14, who is a work of Cantillan. So when you see angles like all 8, like all 12, like all 14, like all, all 19, that you cannot find without a calculator, as we talk about any, as a Cantillan now, in one way or the other. Minus 1. 35. Whenever you see a negative angle, whenever you see a negative angle, make sure that you put 360 in front of it so that that angle will be positive. If in column 360, low angle negative, you go 360 and you go 360 until it becomes a smaller angle, so a positive angle. So, if you go 360, I will end up with 225. Remember, this is 225. So, it is now a positive angle and it is between 0 and 360. Then I'm happy with that. Now, in this one, Umagelang is Susa with 360 to 480. It will be on the same position, which is 120 degrees. This will end up giving me 120 degrees. Do I have what I wanted? Yes, let me check. It is positive between 0 and 360. Positive, 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 positive. Yes, all my angles are the same now. They're all positive. Won't get foot apart to 0 or 360. Then I move on to the next step. Remember that I'm going to take the left-hand side and prove that it is equals to the right-hand side. 120, this is the angle. My angle is 120. I go to my Cartesian plane. Where is 120? All students take comments. Where is 120? 120 is in this quadrant. 120 is between 90 and 180 degrees. Remember, there is only sign that is positive in this quadrant. But in this case, I'm dealing with what? with tan, but I'll come to that. Let me just spread this, this one first. This is going to be tan into 120, some go 180 minus. Whatever we subtract, let's try and make sure that it is a special angle. In 99,9%, .9%, let's try and get a special angle here. 180 minus what will give us 120? It's 180 minus 60 degrees. Is 60 degrees a special angle? Yes, it is a special angle. Therefore, we'll be able to find this without using a calculator. Right, this is times sine 300. Now, what is 300? 300 will be in the fourth quadrant. 
TB is larger than the fourth quadrant. Go 360 minus, no more go 27 plus. Right, let's try the 360 first before we use 270. Because 270, no 90, will change, will definitely change the, the ratio. Right, this is, this is going to be 360 degrees uh, minus. 360 minus quad will give us exactly that. You should get that, nothing else. 360 minus 60 will give us 300. We move, up, we move further. This is cos 14, 14. There's nothing I can do with it, about it. It's cos 14. Gishia, you cos 14 ganjal. But I know that I've got to find Upatnawa, also Susan and I, and results. Right, this is 2 to 5. 2 to 5, 2 to 5 is in this quadrant. It's above 180 plus less than 270. So this quadrant is 180 plus normal 270 minus. So this one will be times sine. Let me take this out of my way. It will be sine 2 to 5 is 180 plus. So it's going to be 180 plus 2 to 5, 180 plus 45. Yes, it is 180 plus 45. And fortunately for us, this is a special angle. This is also a special angle. This is, so reduction formula forces the special angles there. So Mankabangayon, I also think of special angles. This is all over. Okay. Looking at the problem helps. Don't just go uvalamekto, blindfolded. As we are making, as we work, as we are making aqua mathematics. As I've seen here, this is 120, 300, 14, 2 to 5. What is this? 2 to 5. What was 2 to 5? 180 plus. So the same thing, this one will be 180 plus 45. So without wasting time, we'll call that one, of course, 2 to 5, because it is in which quadrant? It is in the third quadrant. It's also going to be 180 degrees plus 45 degrees. Yes, it is equals to 2 to 5, 2 to 5. These two are the same. Cos. Remember what we said here. We've got to find a way to deal with this 14 because we cannot find it without a calculator. This is where it is now, the 14. Okay, what do we have here? We've got sine 104. I remember where is sine 104. You know, pay 190, sine 104 is in the second quadrant. Sibiza go the second quadrant. Sibiza go 90 plus, no go 180 minus. But what do I have here? I've got cos 14. If I can cos, have cos 14 here, I'll be happy because those two will cancel out. But what do I have here? I've got sine. How, what changes sine into cos? It is 90 degrees. So definitely I must have sine and have 90 here. 90 plus what will give me 104? It is 90 plus 14 degrees. So 90 plus 14 will give me 90 degrees and I can see 14 coming out there. I'm on, the, I'm on the right way. Let's move on. I go to where there are brackets first. I go to where there are brackets first. Remember where they are in this particular case. They're in 180 minus. 180 minus. Which quadrant is that? 180 minus. Have the Cartesian plane in your mind or in your piece of paper. 180 minus. That is the second quadrant. 180 minus. It is the second quadrant. Where sine is positive. But it's Kulumangala. Go tan. So how is tan in the second quadrant? Tan is negative there. That's why we get the negative sign. Remember that at the end, we want to have a positive uh, solution. This is minus tan of 60. Ah, this is what we wanted to do, reduction. We wanted to reduce a big angle like 480 into an acute angle of 60 degrees in this particular case. We call this reduction. Multiplied by 360 minus, I go there. 360 minus, I check which quadrant is that. 360, I go back. So 360 minus is in the fourth quadrant. And how is sine in the fourth quadrant? 360 minus, sine in this quadrant is negative. Remember that sine is only positive in two quadrants, in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant. So when we talk about sine in this quadrant, 360 minus, which is the fourth quadrant, definitely it is negative. Therefore, this will be times negative. Uh, this does not change the ratio because it is 360. Negative sine of 60 degrees. Remember, when I brush off this part, the second step, yam, says check, this is not changing the ratio. I ratio 360. Uh, this one, uh, I write it as it is. 180, I ratio. 90, also ratio there. I underline this. 180, I ratio. So the ratio will only change here, whether it's 90 or 270. Right, we've just done the second part. 
This one, we leave it as it is, as cos scaffolding, cos scaffolding layer. Then let's go to the last one. You start where there are brackets. 180 plus, 180 plus. You the quadrant, 180 plus, or a third quadrant. All students take where only tan is positive. So how is sign here in this quadrant? 180 plus, 180 plus. Tan here is negative. All, uh, sign here is negative. Only tan is positive there. So sign, it will be times negative uh, sine of 45. Right. That is how we reduce the numerator. Let's go to the denominator. Okay. 90 plus. Nine, I start where there are brackets. 90 plus. Which quadrant is that? 90 plus, that is the second quadrant. What ratio am I dealing with? The sine. How is sine on the second quadrant? Those are the questions in that order. In that order. You start with our brackets. 90 plus. Which quadrant is that? It is the second quadrant. How is sine on the second quadrant? It is positive. But because this is 90, sine will change into cos. Into cos what? Into cos 14. Ah, that's what I wanted. I can see a cos 14 there. This is times. Cos. 180 plus. Which quadrant is 180 plus? 180 plus, it is the third quadrant. All students take, how is cosine of the third quadrant? It is also negative. Cosine in the third quadrant is negative. So we multiply it by something negative. Negative what here? Negative cos 45. Remember what, what I want at the end. I want to have this positive 3 over 2. Fortunately for us in this problem, see our multiplier, see our times. It makes life easier for us. Right. Let us deal with signs and check if we do get a positive sign because it allows us to work it from here as well. What is negative times negative, it is positive. What is positive times negative, it is negative. What is negative divided by negative, it is positive. Ah, we do have a positive answer as stipulated in the, in, in, in the question. Let's do this again. Negative times negative, it's positive. Positive times negative, it's negative. Negative divided by negative, it is positive. So definitely we do have a positive solution. Remember one thing with what we said. Who sine 20 is the same as cos what? This is the same as cos 70. Because when we add these two, we get 90 degrees. Who sine 30 is the same as what? It's the same as cos 60. What about sine 45? So these two give us 90, these two give us 90. So what about sine 45? Ah, sine 45 is the same as cos 45. If you don't know this, it will make life difficult for, 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 for us, for you. Right, let's look at this. We use our eyes. The eyes are the most powerful tool in your mathematics. You brush it up first, you check what you know. I've got sine 45. I know that sine 45 is the same as what? Cos 45. So it simply means that these two can go because they are the same thing. Sine 45 is the same as cosine of 45. This is what I have. Cos 14 can go with cos 14. Remember we've dealt, already dealt with sines and we know that we said it was gonna be a positive one. So this can go with that one. We're left with this too. Right. <clears throat> Fortunately for us in the exams, we can find this using a calculator. The examiner will not know whether we've used a calculator or not. But this part, you can just punch the calculator and write what you see there. It is now acceptable. Let's do that. No. Or we just use the special angles. Special angles are more precise. If we use a calculator, we say tan of 60. Oh, where's my tan in the calculator? Tan 60. What is this giving me? It gives me square root of 3. So this is the same as square root of 3. If I was using my, my, tri my, 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 my triangle, this is what I will have. I will have my 30 there. I will have my 60 here. I will have my 90 here. Remember, this is, guide me. This is root 3. This is the bigger side, which is 2. This is the smaller side, which is 1. What is it that we are dealing with here? We are dealing with tan. Tan. What is the definition of tan? Tan is opposite over a towa. Opposite over adjacent. Let's do this. So tan 60, in this case, tan of 60 will be equals to tan is tau wa, opposite over adjacent, which is root 3 over 1, which is exactly what we get from the calculator, which is root 3. That's why we have root 3 here. We move on. This is multiplied by this one. What is sine 60? 
Remember, we've already da dealt with O negative. That's why I'm not considered an Angsaba Pegi Manch. Sign 60, this is giving me root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2. Even if you use the, the diagram, you will get the same thing. You just have to rationalize the denominator. Right, this is what we have. Let's take this a step further. What is square root of 3 times square root of 3? This will give us 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is equals to 3. This is over 1. Remember, this times that is, is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. Yes, this is exactly what we wanted to get. So it is true that this side is equal to 3 over 2. Then you make your conclusion. Therefore, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.